backstory about this experience we've had with this uh, FE501 Supermoto that we put uh, dirt wheels, took off the plate, and raced it. So it was a two hour Glen Helen GP around 8 o'clock, but the team and the film guys were at Willow Springs racing an old Camaro we do in a 24 hours lemons race. They got there a little late, and by the time we got done filming and swapping the wheels, practice was over. We thought we had an hour, but it was more like 30 minutes. So our friend from Vegas, Alex Corpinger, he uh, got to do one sight lap. He's never ridden the bike before. The bike's only got 25 miles on it. So we didn't have too much time to dial it in. The forks were set up pretty much for dune jumps and supercross and supermoto, so it's pretty stiff for uh, a GP race at Glen Helen. Oh, uh, I probably turned it on low. I turned it on low beam when I came in through the pits. That's probably why I had it on low beam the whole time. <laughs> oh, he knows now. There he is. Definitely ran into some issues with bike setup, team, uh, synergy, whatever you want to call it. But it started to come into its own with 510 cc, 6 speed, 65 horse. It really started to help us out, and we got in a good, smooth transitional period between each handoff. So we'll get back into some of the problems we had, we ran into swapping out the wheels, and then the end result. Fuel light came on as soon as I got on the bike, so I didn't really want to get crazy on it. I tried to half out or under not get the RPMs too high, but still gotta have fun. So I think you get seven to 10 miles um, out of, you know, race speed out of 0.7 gallons. So I didn't want to lose too much time, but at the same time running out of gas on the track is, you know, not good for business. Let's take a little break. We'll get back to some positivity. Let's talk about the bike a little bit. Talk about the change of the wheels and then see how we actually got this bike in the winner's circle.
Open this box, look. Open, open that box, the box. Yeah, there's sockets in there. Hurry up, practice is almost over. Larry, <laughs> wanna go? Keep I remember when I tried to help you. You got the bracket? Have gas. Very touchy. It's possible. It's possible. Do we have SC1 on there? It's not going to sit. Get out, get a, a feel for it. He got out probably about a tenth of the track and they flagged him off. So I never got to ride the track. I've ridden Glen Helen before in the past. So I know the way it feels. Uh, we did six hour national there. Um, so not a big concern for me. I know the track, but you, know, you can't really dial in the jumps at night. Um, especially when we got such a bad start. So we'll see uh, what we had to deal with. And I think for what we did, the bike did great. And I'm excited to race up more and see what we come up with. seeing a 25 plus year old XR on the track, stock light, no worries. That's what it's all about. Woo! So with Alex being a pro racer, I put the stock rev limit back on. It's right under 10,000 RPMs. So it really signs off pretty quick if you're used to riding a, a normal 450 motocross bike. So you hear a lot of it's low lugging, but it is a big piston. Uh, you know, 510cc or 511 is pretty, pretty large. And we also put the titanium valves in and the large throttle body as well. So it's got some power still, but it could be a lot more uh, potent if you put the other CI box that revs to 11,100. Uh, we just wanted it to last the whole race and not have any issues since he's not used to riding that bike. Um, but yeah, if you know what you're doing and you're not hitting the rev limiter, the larger CI box is definitely uh, a nice touch. Let's see here, I've got 
a little complacent, a little comfortable on the bike. And I was off the gas, front end sunk, and I should have been on the gas through this section, but almost lost it here. My leg flew over the back, it was pretty fun. But uh, definitely woke me up and got me back on the gas. just being able to ride such a fast bike. It is it is a cheater bike up the hills, but then again, it was a little heavier than the motocross bike. So, you know, shaker, Pepsi Co kind of thing, you know, more power, uh, but it did have really stiff suspension. I think with that track, I, I did end up riding a WRTPTF the next day, and it was set up for that kind of riding, and it was such an easier ride, and the track was way more beat, and it was a day race. So. Suspension setup's huge. You know, just being able to adjust your clickers in and out at a track is so nice. This one, like I said, was all the way clicked in, or clicked out, I should say. So the oil was flowing as free as it could, which really, I think, with suspension, when you push it past the, the sweet spot, you're kind of losing the hydraulic function. So I'm glad that we were able to test it and this thing is definitely built for dune jumps, which is where we're going next. But for this type of riding, I would have definitely built a different type of bike and made it a little more forgiving. Uh, but for supermoto and jumps, I'm really happy with the suspension. Get it, bro. Last lap. Go, go, go. I bet you're not time to get those like tight 